Hello everybody. This is the Narita to Tokyo, the Tokyo to Narita airport bus. It goes back and forth. It is the cheapest way to get from Tokyo Station to Narita. A lot of people have been asking me this question. This is the answer right here. It's a platform number seven from Tokyo Station. How you doing everybody? Actually, I just said bye to my friend Scotty. Uh, who is taking the bus to go to Narita for his, the next leg of his journey. He was here for about a week filming something. But in this episode, I'm going to go over all the options that you have to go to Tokyo Station from Narita and vice versa. Now, how you get from Narita to, to here, the bus platform is usually right outside, so it's not too hard to get around. Here's the bus leaving. Here's the bus leaving right now. The great thing about this bus from Tokyo Station is not only that it's the cheapest, literally the price is 1300 yen. Check it out. You can get the tickets from inside from a vending machine. Kids are half price. You can even use your Suica card to pay for it too. So it's very easy in and off. But th the second best thing about this, besides the price, if not the best, is that these train, these uh, buses leave every 10 minutes. Look at that. There's a schedule right there. 12:51, 1, 1:10, 1 1:20, 1 1:30, all going to Narita Airport. And I'll talk about why this is probably the best best option for you most of the time. There are certain times where it might not be, but it's certainly the cheapest. Check it out here. Um, so I, I asked the navigation. Oh, let's say goodbye to the people here. Oh, we gotta say goodbye. Bye bye, Kase bus. See you, people that are leaving Japan. Come back again. I've been standing here. I met two nice people from Orlando, Florida, and they we got a chance to take a selfie before they left. And they said, Thank you for, for all the information. And I was so thankful they came up and they said hi to me, made my day. So thanks, guys, for saying hi. Um, I, I went to the navigation and in Japan we have a bunch of apps that tell you which is the cheapest and the fastest way. Let me go over this to you, um, over this with you. Here's the first way. This is um, the Skyliner. The Skyliner it says here is the number one choice in terms of speed. Now the one would leave here, it says here 1239, it would get there at 143, so it's a little bit over an hour. Uh, the price is 2,742 yen according to this and you have to take the Yamanote line from Tokyo Station to uh, Nippori which is, I don't know, what is it like, tw does it say 20 minutes on, on here? Yeah, about, about 12 minutes on the Yamanote line to get there. For me, I always think that the train is a really hard thing because you can see everybody, everybody has suitcases with wheels, right? It makes it hard to get around. If you take a look here, if you take a look here, the bus is so simple. You take a taxi, you get off right here, you can wheel your suitcase right there. Right? This is why the bus is so much better. It's all street level. If you were to take the second option, which is Danita, Narita Express, which is right here, the Narita Express is also the most expensive option, especially for a one-way ticket. You can see here it is um, the train. 3,070 yen, one way, for the Narita Express. It doesn't depart very often, and the platform on, at Tokyo Station is so far deep. If you've got suitcases that you're wheeling around, it is a real hassle to get down there. It's also on the Maruno Uchi side, which might be convenient to get to the Maruno Uchi subway, but you have to go up flights of stairs, go through people, go back down the stairs to get back down to the subway. It's a real hassle. Um, if you're taking a taxi when you arrive into Tokyo, the bus, the, the, we're going to walk over there, but the taxi stand is just right over there. So you get off the bus, you go over to the taxi stand, you get to your hotel. It's that easy. 1,300 yen, $10. It's a one hour bus ride. That's really cheap. Um, just, for all, just to be clear, the Nadine Express does have a discounted ticket. If you do get a round trip ticket, it is a little bit cheaper because they know that people aren't going to take that because it's the most expensive. The only reason to take it is for business or if you have a JR Rail Pass. Personally, I never take it because it just takes too much time. 
I, I think the buses are faster. Uh, here's a Skyliner information for those that are looking at this as possibly the option. The Skyliner is, uh, yeah, it was uh, 2,700 yen according to this because you need a ticket to get the Nipoti station. And it takes about an, a little bit over an hour. The bus takes a little bit over an hour too. It's the same amount of time, if not faster and easier because of the time it, it requires to get onto the bus. So they're already, they're already boarding the next bus, which will take, take off in 10 minutes. The next option here, the cheapest option though, is something that's different. Oh, here's the, here are the vending machines for the buses. This is what it looks like inside of uh, the terminal. You can see 1,300 yen, bus stop number seven. It's all clear in English. You, put your, you can pay for it with your, um, S, uh, your IC card. There's the bus, so you just gotta walk about 20 meters, 30 seconds to get there. And there's a little gift shop inside too, so you can buy a drink and, and uh, maybe get a sandwich if you wanna eat on the bus. I don't know if a lot of people eat on the bus, but you can, you can buy some gifts here if you want. Lots of luggage space, check it out. It's, it's just so much better. The option that I, the option, uh, and I'll take, I'll look at some of your questions in a second. Yeah, this is Tokyo Station Yaisu exit. This is the express bus side of it. And you've asked anybody, it's on the uh, south side, or is it the north side? I think it's the north side, or it's the south side. I can't remember. Well, we're gonna all figure this out because I'm gonna take you to the exit and show you how to get there from the train to here. So this live stream is gonna be about 15 minutes or so, but it will have a lot of information that's quite valuable. So keep watching, keep watching. Um, how do Kanai, so how does, do Kanai and I get around? Well, we live in Chuoku, which is in the center of Tokyo. So we go to a place called uh, TCAT. Here's a picture of it right here. TCAT is a limousine service that goes uh, from Hakozaki to uh, Narita Airport, and it goes right onto the highway, because this is the entrance to the highway uh, in Tokyo. So you don't have to go through the city at all. And um, it's a little bit more expensive, but I think it's, it's, it's a little bit faster too to take the TCAT. The price, the schedules are not as convenient either. Check it out here. So you can see the buses will leave um, on the left side is the departure and on the right side is the terminal that it'll reach. So it takes one hour and two minutes to get to Terminal 3, which is the domestic terminal in Narita Airport. It takes uh, another three minutes after that, so an hour and five minutes to get to Terminal 2 and an hour and 10 minutes to get to uh, Terminal 1. So the bus is so fast. Brendania, thank you. Those that might think that the bus is intimidating, it's so not. Every, it's, everything is in English here. And I, it's just a smoother ride. You don't have to move around. You sit for the hour on the train. You have to find seats. You got to get back and wheel your stuff out. And then you got to go up escalators and stuff. I'm telling you, I know that you think Japan's a train place. Buses to Narita are way better. So now exactly when wouldn't it not, when would it not be the best option? Hold on a second. Let me, let me move you over to the, I'll show you where the taxis go. You can also get on another highway bus if you're going to Hiroshima, if you're going to up north, even to Tohoku. This is where the JR highway buses will depart from. The Willer buses is a, is a five minute walk from here away from Tokyo Station. So if you've got another, third, uh, another bus company that's really all in this area. Uh, and the taxi stand is where I'm taking you to because that's also another good place to go. If you think that you're not gonna make your, uh, if you can't wait for the bus for whatever reason, again, they leave every 10 minutes. Sometimes the line might be a little bit long and you have to wait another 10 minutes for the next bus. But I've been here for about 20 minutes after Scotty left, which was really sad. Oh man, I, I was really sad to see Scotty leave. There's Scotty saying goodbye to us. <laughs> he got onto the bus from here. Thank you for everything, John. It's been amazing. Yeah, so that was, that was uh, nice that he could come and we could hang out a little bit today. There's his bus right there. Scotty's on his way to Narita right now. There's a taxi stand right there. You see the taxis coming around the curve here. You don't have to walk more than 100 meters to get into a, a cab. The queue is right here. It's, it's really amazing Japan efficiency. Now they have three taxis pull up at the same time. There's kind of a rule to it that you might want to know. So 
you want to, so the, the three taxis will pull up and three people can get into the cabs and they all kind of depart at the same time. So the person in line will grab the first cab, then you would grab the cab after that, and then you grab, if it's a cab that you don't like, it's kind of tough luck, just try to be polite and get in the next cab. They're all kind of the same, but some cabs are older than another and others, and, and Kanai and I prefer to have the, uh, these uh, English cab, cab likes because there's just more leg room in there, but you can't really be choosers because you just get into the cab that's available. <laughs> I'm saying that because we prefer another cab. Let's go over to the line over here. So what exactly is the cheapest route? Now, there's actually one way to get to Narita that's even cheaper, but you need a serious amount of free time to do that. You could always hitchhike, which is, you know, free. You gotta talk to somebody <laughs> sometimes. Oh, there's a lot of people for the taxi, so this line will be about 15 minutes to get a, a cab right now. And I'm just gonna pan around. Wow. So it'll be about 15 minutes for the taxis to come around. After the buses leave, then the taxis come back around and, and the queue moves again. But there's a line of taxis already on the other side, so they're gonna keep moving. The city keeps moving. Nothing. I guess, because it takes, for, takes a while. And that'll arrive at 12.55. This, this train leaves pretty, pretty uh, often too. And then you would take the normal Keisei line, which is a, like a local train from there. And you'd have to change trains once, and then it'll t uh, you'll get an express that'll take you to uh, Narita Airport. So you arrive at 2.32, which is an hour and 42 minutes. But, sorry, I'm, I'm moving there. But this ticket costs 1,200 yen. So, so that's 91 yen cheaper than the bus. But is it worth it? No. It's not worth it. T time is money. Time is money. All right, the, the, most, the most popular exit from Tokyo Station is the Yaisu Central entrance where people come out from the Shinkansen. And you can go right from the bus. So th this is another reason to take the bus. You can go right from the bus right into the entrance and, and right under the, the Tokaido Shinkansen. And the entrance to the Tokaido Shinkansen is easier to get to by bus than it is from the Narita Express, even though you're already in the station when you arrive at, J at Tokyo Station. Because of the placement of Narita Express, which is in the basement of, Nari of Tokyo Station, you have to go up more steps and escalators and everything, and you have to go to the other side of the station to get to the Shinkansen platform. The Shinkansen platform, there's literally right there. You'd walk in and about 10 meters, you can enter onto the Tokaido Shinkansen. You don't even need to go in through the main entrance there. There's a side entrance with the Shinkansen. It's so convenient. Another reason to take the bus if you're arriving at Narita Airport, and Haneda for that matter, unless the monorail is certainly a better uh, option maybe if, if, if speed is there. But I usually take the, the um, Keisei line from Haneda and then change uh, to the Oedo line. Yeah, all really good stuff here. Yeah, so if you're watching here, this is the uh, episode on the Tokyo <laughs> to the Narita Airport. I'm just doing it. I've done this before, but the information keeps changing. And so does Tokyo Station. So does Tokyo Station. So believe it or not, it's only, it's less than $10 to get to uh, uh, Tokyo Station from Narita Airport with buses leaving every 10 minutes. That's just... Amazing. That's just amazing to me. So, any questions? I'm here for you. Yeah, it was sad to see Scotty go. Um, we did shoot an episode yesterday. I won't tell you what it's about. You just have to wait for the edited video. <laughs> It's, it's about 1 p.m. here, lunchtime, I suppose. You know, we went, I went to Starbucks and I had, I had a um, olive oil coffee. It was kind of interesting. Let's see if I can pull up that picture here. Oh, here it is. Let's 
It's like an olive oil coffee. Like Oleto is a company there, and and uh, I guess it's just like olive oil infused cream in it. So it's at the at the Tokyo Starbucks right now, and it was uh, it was unique. I, I like olive oil infused stuff. I had it when I was on Shodoshima uh, last year, so <laughs> that was uh, that was pretty cool. People getting it, it depends on your stomach. I mean, I don't want to say anything, but I'm, I am. I think um, American coffee is pretty weak, right? So when you change up the recipe of it, I think it's going to give you maybe the runs. I don't know. I just think people have weaker stomachs or something. I, I feel fine. So I had that co coffee. It's been an hour or more. I feel great. So I think it might be just some people. If you have a sensitive stomach, you're drinking infused coffee with oil. So it, it might help. Yeah. How far from Shibuya to Tokyo Station? By train? It's about 20 minutes. If you walk over to Ginza, you can take the Ginza line, which is not that far away from here. It's about a 10 minute walk to Ginza, so you can get the Ginza line, that's about a 20 minute ride. Or if you take the Yamanote line, that might be 20, 20 minutes about, I think. Everything takes between, everything takes about 20 or 30 minutes in Tokyo to get one place to another. Yeah, it's just bake in 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. Akihabara to, to Shinjuku, about 20 minutes on the Sobu line, or the Chuo hon, Honsan. Yeah. The olive oil wasn't too strong. It's just infused, so there's a kind of a, a unique spiciness to it. But, you know, my stomach's fine. It's, it depends on... You know, person by person. If you have a weak stomach, I, I, you know, you can train. Just go home and drink some olive oil and see what happens. Then if you're okay, you can try the coffee maybe. All right, any other questions here? John, get in one of those older taxis and let's see how cramped it is. Why? I have a bicycle here. Just for your amusement. William, you're going to have to throw in like a $100 super chat for that or something. I'm gonna, what do you think my time's worth? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that, though. Like, what? Get into a taxi for no reason. And then I have to, okay, what do I tell the driver? Just go around the block and come back. My bicycle's here. Uh, some other, th other modes of transportation. Okay, um, if you were to take a taxi, I've done this before because I've had to... Where is Scotty flying to? I'll let Scotty just, just, that's not information that I should tell where somebody, um, especially another YouTuber is flying to. I'm not, I'm not at, at liberty to, just to say, I don't know. I don't know if he wants to tell you where he's going. He could be going home or he could be going onwards or he could be going to Europe, he could be going to Australia. Scotty will tell you. Uh, a taxi is gonna cost you more than $100. On average, um, my experience, if you're taking the highway, you have to pay the highway tolls as well. It came out between 18,500 yen to 22,000 yen, depending on which part of the city you're leaving from. And if you're taking an Uber Black, an Uber, and all the Ubers are Uber Blacks, I believe, tack on another 20% to that. Mind you, you don't have to tip that is any bonus. You'll get there almost the same amount of time as the bus. On average, it takes an hour to get to Narita. Now, the whole caveat with all of this, thanks for watching 19 Minutes In, by the way. You get a medal, an award, because you get this information. There are times when you should not take the bus into Tokyo. In the morning, all right? If you arrive in, at Narita Airport and you get on, and the buses are departing after, um, after 6.30 in the morning, till 9.30, until about 6.30 to 8.30 or 9, that might be the cutoff, in the morning, don't get on a bus because the traffic to get into Tokyo is really hard because of the commute. It's not as bad as it used to be in the years past, but in that case, it's going to take you about an hour and 45 minutes to come into the city. If there's ever an accident on the highway, you might be delayed a little bit. There, there are benefits to taking the train. There's still something that you need to think about. So what you can do is go onto Google Maps when you arrive at Narita and just you can check 
to see if there's any traffic. So what you do is type in, at, when you arrive at Narita Airport, go to Google Maps, type in Tokyo Station, and, and put start, like directions, and then start. And then you'll see, you'll be able to see along the line that it, it, it draws what the estimated time is based on everybody else in the world using Google Maps and how slow that they're moving. It, it takes all that data and, and creates congestion zones. I, don't, I think I probably don't have to tell you all of this. So you can see how long it's going to take and if you're going to be delayed. Before you get on the bus, always check the Google Maps just to see if there's any traffic on the way. Now mind you, that you can't control if there's traffic that happens afterwards, but most of the time, by time, you know if there's traffic or not. So if you're getting on the bus after 6.30 a.m., that means you're going to be hitting Tokyo around 7.15, and you're going to have a bunch of traffic on uh, Wangandori, which is the street road that goes around towards Tokyo, um, from around Tokyo Disneyland to Tokyo City. Sometimes it's like really packed. So that's something to keep in mind. Also in the evening, there are times where the, there's a lot of traffic cutting through Tokyo, people going to Yokohama. So if the bus is taking Wangandori, uh, there might be another issue with it taking about 30 minutes longer, which isn't a big deal. The buses almost always have free Wi-Fi. So, and there's also, most of these buses, because there could be an option, possibility it's an older one, they have also places to plug in your phone and they have free Wi-Fi. So the time goes by pretty quickly. Um, the bus that Scott got on was only half full, he said. So people are still taking the train rather than the bus. I think this is inside information. This is inside insider trading. I think YouTube's going to flag this video now. I just said insider trading. Maybe not. I don't know. YouTube's AI. I think I've said too much. A D Dear YouTube AI, if you're reading this right now, I mean no disrespect. All right, one last question before I tune out. <laughs> I saw Brandania. Thanks so much, Brandania, for the super chat earlier. Slower traffic if it's raining. JKO Adventures, thank you for that. That's true. Uh, slightly slower. I haven't ever... I've taken the bus to Narita maybe 30 or 40 times, sometimes in the rain. Once in the snow, it wasn't a real significant... It was about five minutes slower. And I think it was at the toll booth where people were just slowing down a little bit more and there was a slight queue. But I think this was at the time people were adjusting to digital payments. So I think it's going to be just a couple of minutes slower. Yeah, that's good. That's good information. If it's downpouring really heavy, the bus will probably slow down the speed. I haven't been in a downpour yet. TC writes in here, the bus is stress-free. Pretty much. The only time it's not stress-free is if the people around you are, are total not nice people. I almost said the D word. Are total D-bags and they're loud and they're talking, but most people are pretty respectable. Not everybody makes the trip to Japan, all right? Like, if you're coming to Japan, you're, you're going halfway around the world, the airfare is expensive enough that, you know, like, not great people will, will stay at home most of the time. Sometimes there's rowdy people, like YouTubers, that'll come. <coughs> Logan Paul. But I think he's made amends and seems to have, have cleaned up his act. I believe in second chances. John, uh, made it to your lives. Hey, Michael Sasato's here. Missed you live for a bit, my friend. Snack time on me, thank you. Uh, I, Kanai and Leo are with, with Grandpa today, so I, I'm gonna get a chance to pick up some lunch here. So I'll put that to use and, and uh, bring back some cake for, for Kanai when she comes home, maybe. <laughs> get her some apple pie. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, Brandania beat you, Michael. <laughs> Brandania was here first. So that, that's, that's another thing to think about. Traffic is the issue with, with uh, uh, driving. So it, it, in terms of price, it comes down to the most expensive is Uber. Next is taxi. Taxi is 20% cheaper. That'll cost you maximum um, 22,000 yen. After that is the Narita Express. Unless you get a round trip ticket, then it's uh, 4,000 yen round trip. It's 3,000 yen one way. If you have a JL Rail Pass, that might make sense, but I want you to consider something. 
You don't have to activate your pass on the first day just to use it for the Narita Express. Hold on to it. Take the bus in. Because the Narita Express comes into Tokyo Station at a deep terminal, it's hard here. Unless you're getting off at another station somewhere else, it doesn't make a lot of sense to get off at the Narita Express at Tokyo Station. It, it really is deep underground with a lot of steps. If you're taking an elevator to get up, it's a, always a queue after the train arrives, especially um, yeah, when the train is quite crowded. Um, and you're paying more for that privilege, you know? And, there's those, and it's hard to find space for luggage. You have to put it above the, 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 above the train, et cetera. So I think the bus is, less, is more stress-free. You give them the luggage, they put it under the, underneath the bus, you get on, you sit down. People don't have a bu bunch of bags all over the place on the interior of the bus. Yeah. Hi, John, new subscriber here. Hey, Lynn, thank you. Welcome. KC Skylander to Wayno is worth considering too. Kelvin, it is, it's more expensive. It's about a thousand yen more expensive. And to get the Nipori is slower. So like, unless you're staying around Nipori, it, Skyliner doesn't really pay for itself. You can comment if I'm, if I'm wrong. Bus is just superior. But if you're taking the train, the Skyliner is my vote over Narita Express. JR comes in like almost last compared to taxi. I don't know why JR doesn't lower the price. I think it's because people would be then going to, to Narita City and the train ticket to go to Narita City is, is pricey. So they have to keep the prices consistent. That's why they can't lower it to compete with the private lines. But Keisei, which is a private company, can lower the prices and be more competitive because most people are taking them to go to the, the airport. Anyways, Keisei line, by the way, is the Asakusa subway line. So if you get on the Asakusa subway line, you can also get to Narita, but it's a lot slower. That is the slowest way to get there, but maybe the cheapest. Um, you can get from Haneda to Narita without changing trains if you take the Keisei line, but it takes forever. But if you're just sitting down and you're listening to an audio book or something, or reading a book, it, you know, it works out. So that if, if you have five hours to kill, why not? Why kill it at the airport? You just ride a train and look out the window. Uh, where, where were you? I was at the bus terminal seven. Now I'm at Tokyo Station. Why is someone trying to find me? Here's, here's what it looks like right now. You can see people, a lot of tourists are getting off here. Some of them from the hotels to get on the Shinkansen. Getting around by taxi is a smart thing to do, by the way. It's a little bit more, but whenever you ride the trains, especially if you have suitcases, you have to wheel that up or down and then back up and down. And you, it, it's just stressful. Jump into a taxi. These taxi queues from here take you straight in. Shinkansen entrance is right there. It's just past that shop. It's right in there. It's like 50 meters. You want me to show you? I can show you with the map here. Taxi queue to depart. Taxi queue to enter is here. This is the departure. And the buses are all here. And here you enter. And this is the Shinkansen right here. Right above. There's a secret entrance for the, the Tokaido Shinkansen. The Tohoku Shinkansen, you have to go in through the main entrance and go in here. But the, to, uh, the Tohoku Shinkansen, sorry. The Tokaido Shinkansen, which goes to Nagoya, Kyoto, Osaka, is right in here. Let me take you and show you. Uh, Michael Sasano, need to offset 30% YouTube tax. <laughs> Michael, you're so awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe you're thinking about that. So you, you just gave YouTube more though, but you also gave us more, so thank you. <laughs> He's beating you, Brondania. <laughs> All right, I'm just, I'm just messing around here. Right, let, me, let me show you inside here at an angle. Do you see that straight ahead? That's, that's the gate right there. That white sign right above us is the entrance to the to, uh, Tokaido Shinkansen. So you, this is what I normally do. This is my routine. I jump out of the taxi. I grab my credit card, I run to these yellow vending machines. There's usually nobody there, it's credit card only. I get my ticket, I gotta pay full price, but I get a you know, receipt. And then I run 
onto this Shinkansen and I'm on this platform. From the taxi to the platform, it's, um, I've done it in a minute. It's uh, 15 seconds from the taxi to the vending machine. Oh, no, maybe two minutes. But I, but credit card, put in the destination, boom, 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 credit card, pin number. The printing of the tickets is the longest time. I think that takes about 15 seconds, and then you're on the platform in two minutes. So if you get an Ekiben, tack on another two more minutes. But you can see right now, let me just show you. You can see uh, Tokyo Station is quite, quite packed. So. Here's a cool place to uh, chillax, the Japan Rail Cafe. And this is where I did some of my live streaming with Peter inside of there. They have these to, like uh, sit down rooms in, inside of a Japan looking place here. It's kind of a cool, cool area to enjoy a coffee before you jump on a Shinkansen uh, train or catch that bus to go back to Narita. And then boom, here you are, you're in the center of Tokyo. I don't know if the JR Cafe rocks. So it's sort of okay. I think 7-Eleven's coffee might be better. <laughs> Just put that out there. All right, see you, Joy. There used to be, oh, it's still there. So you can get up here like a craft beer at, from Hitachi no. It's a brewery from Hitachi up in Ibaraki Prefecture. Hitachi, of course, famous for brew pub up there. That's kind of neat. And there you go. There's the taxi stand. And my op my um, recommendation is always bus. Now, if you leave from TCAT, Hakosaki, you get on the highway faster. This is maybe the quickest way, but they have fewer buses departing. Um, it, that schedule might change, so it's worth checking it out. If you have a foreign passport, uh, they give you half off, so it's 1,400 yen. It's 100 yen more uh, with a foreign passport to leave from Hakosaki. But it, it's, it's uh, uh, I don't know, like five or 10 minutes faster than leaving from here, I believe. So it could be worth it. I mean, it depends on where your hotel is. Scotty was staying at, at um, uh, the Tsuki, uh, uh, Tsukiji Shintomicho area. And yeah, the, I think Hakozaki was a better fit, but we were filming a little bit in Ginza just now, so we walked over here from Ginza. He walked over here from Ginza with his suitcase. And uh, the, he, by the time we walked here, this is, this is true. We walked from Ginza to here and the bus was, he got right onto the bus. He, we didn't stop walking. He kept walking, we kept walking until he got right onto the bus. And then he was gone. I, it was too fast. I thought we'd have like at least 10 minutes before the bus departed. He literally walked straight onto the bus and, and now he's on his way to Narita. It's crazy fast. So I'm taking you, this is in front of uh, the Tokyo bus station. Oh, this is the south, now we're at the south entrance of Tokyo station. So if you wanna, um, if you're coming from Shinkansen to Tokyo station and you're going straight to the Narita airport, this is good to know. When you get off of the Shinkansen, don't just go down the steps right away. L look for the right exit before you go down the steps. Go down the south exit from the Shinkansen platform so that you, ha you don't have to walk as much inside of the station. That'll save you a little bit of stress. Wow, all right, I'm gonna stand right here, wrap around a little bit. Here's the, here's the bus that I'm talking about. This is um, platform number seven, Noriba we say, leaving to Narita Airport every 10 minutes. This is what it looks like. You can see the sign on the door says free Wi-Fi. 
And there's also, I think there's an electrical symbol, so saying that you, you can charge your phones as well, I believe. So that's really cool. What you do is you, you tell, make sure you know what terminal you're going to because you have to tell the guy taking your suitcase which terminal. So if you say terminal, you know, terminal two, they put it in the middle compartment. If you say terminal one, they'll put it in the, the front one. So make sure you have that information. If you don't know your terminal, they tell you to stand to the side and you, get, and you might lose your place in line. And that would stink. There's a schedule up there. 125, 130, 140, 152, 210, 220. It's like every 10 minutes. It's so convenient. The orange limousine buses, I don't recommend. They're more expensive. I believe they're more expensive. They take off inside of a building which is separated from Tokyo Station, I believe. But I have, I, they might be the easiest to get on and off from, from Narita Airport to come here, but the Keisei bus has, has always been the cheapest. Now, there used to be a thousand yen for this. If you look back at the history of the live streams, the Keisei bus was, was a thousand yen. But I, I believe that they raised the price, one, because of inflation. The price of everything went up, let's be honest. Also, um, the price of the dollar, so the, the price really hasn't changed for uh, American tourists because it's now 130 yen to the, to the dollar, where it used to be like just about 100 yen to the dollar. So essentially it still comes out to about 10 bucks. And if, let, let's be honest, 10 bucks to go an hour, over an hour from Narita Airport to Tokyo is really cheap, all right? It doesn't matter so much. Uh, I can tell you, I can take you in really quickly. Just give you a quick look and look see at where you get the tickets. It's I I would recommend getting the tickets before you board on 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 the uh, bus. It's just nice to have them. That's just a big suitcases. Man, when I travel, one backpack. But now that we got Leo, that's not going to happen. They're the vending machines for the for the uh, airport. So it's, there's there's three of them. It's so easy to grab. You can even just put it into this one without even touching one. You put in 1300 yen, push that blue button, bam, you got your ticket. That's how easy it is. Yeah, the orange buses do go to some hotels. That might be convenient for some people. I mean, if you're just gonna pay a couple more, a couple more hundred yen for a little bit more convenience, that's pretty good too. But for me, and for me, I live here. So I'm going to always end up taking, this is the next bus to go to Narita, so it's already queuing up. It drops off people, I believe it drops off, I'm not quite sure where it drops the people off. Hmm, that's interesting, Where's, where, do they, where do the people get off? No, I think it was here, if I recall, I'm not sure. But if, if, you, if you've got a more convenient way from your, from your hotel, then maybe you want to take that. But for Kanai and, and me, my family, we live in Tokyo, so we have to jump into a taxi because no bus is coming to pick us up. And we get we come into Tokyo Station. And also I like to get you know coffee, I like to get a, a drink, and then I can really relax um, on the bus. Because it is an hour ride. And you can't beat 1,300 yen, man. That's just that's just crazy cheap. Raise your hand if you're coming to Japan. Click the like button if you are too excited and you need something to do with your finger. And if you need something to do with your finger, find that subscribe button. Don't click it twice. People that are subscribed might unsubscribe. Well, you know who you are. Hopefully. This is the uh, itinerary from me searching it. 1242 Tokyo Station. Walk to the south bus terminal, 1250. 1250 bus, get on that. One hour, two minutes, airport bus, Tokyo to Narita. You arrive at Narita Terminal 3 at, at 152, 
So one hour and two minutes. Walk to Narita Airport, five minutes. So if, if you're going to Terminal 2, it's another five minutes, and then Terminal 3, another five minutes more from that, give or take, depending on how much luggage. So that, there, there you go, there's a sample of each itinerary, and that is a 1,300 yen. That's from the Japanese um, transportation site, so you can uh, check out what we see on our side. And this is the third best option, according to this, based on time. The Skyliner is the most recommended, but again, if you've got luggage, this is just too easy. This bus is going to Nagoya, by the way. Nagoya is about five hours and a half by bus, and you get a nice view of Mount Fuji. Maybe not today, but I've ridden bus to, to Osaka and to Nagoya as well. It's cheaper, and it's a, um, it's a pretty comfortable ride. That's a nice looking bus. See, there's a guy drinking a coffee. He's going to be enjoying the, the view from the highway. The uh, Tomei Expressway by bus, that'll be fun. Next, next one stops up at Hamamatsu Station, then the next bus coming at, at 2.30 goes to Nagoya. I wonder how much it is. Just gotta go inside and get the ticket. Yeah, you know, Shinkansen, a lot of people, like, you know, of course, take that because it's faster, but you have other options. The great, oh, you know what the great thing about the bus is? Going to, Na, going to Nagoya. The bus does rest stops, all right? And I'm pretty sure they stop at the one at Fuji. So for about 15 minutes, you stop at the rest area, the service area. I think there was a Ferris wheel there. And you can, you can grab a coffee, go to the restroom. I think it's 15, 20 minutes. And Mount Fuji on clear days is just looming there. You can't get that kind of view from the Shinkansen. It's over in seven minutes. If you're riding the bus, you have it for like a solid 30, 40 minutes. So the daytime buses sometimes are, are kind of unique. To, to Nagoya. Just some advice. They have a night bus. They have night buses everywhere. So there you go. This is the bus to Narita. People waiting in line here. So they might have luggage limits, but if you're bringing a suitcase bigger than that, I don't know. That's another question. People. Some of these suitcases are definitely bigger, though. But they don't seem to ask questions. When using the highway bus, That's bigger than that pink one. First. The ticket office is across from bus stop number nine. Oh, no, sorry. This is the size for carry-on bags. So you can't bring on suitcases this size. That's good to know. So they do take big bags, apparently. I, I didn't see the top there, carry on. Honestly, unless you're like a computer or something, there's no reason to carry on a, a suitcase that big. It's just easier and, and less stress, stressful to just put everything underneath here. It's exciting, all these people are going on a trip. I'm jealous. See the colors there? They, they, they're separated by color. So if you're getting off a of Terminal 3, you get a, a yellow one, Terminal 1. Sorry, Terminal 2 is a red one, and Terminal 1 is a blue blue tag. So you can tell which terminal. Um, that's a great way to also confirm that they're putting in the right spot. So that guy's going to Terminal 1. Here's the schedule. Right there. Screenshot that. There you go. Start starts from five o'clock in the morning, and the last bus to Narita Airport is seven thirty. 
So this is good information. So starting around 4 p.m., the buses start to slow down. Then at 5 p.m., they go every 20 minutes about. And then from 6 p.m., every 20 minutes. And then at 7, there's one bus at 7 at 7.30. So my advice would be to try to catch this one. And if you miss it, you can sneak onto this one. They might actually have two buses for this one, just in case. Have a bus on standby so nobody gets stranded. But they're not going to tell you go to take a taxi. I, I can't imagine they would do that. And then for the last last uh, thing I'll show you here, Tokyo Station, Tanarita Airport, Terminal 3, Terminal 2, Terminal 1, and here's the schedule. Boom. That's all. I, you know what? I should have done that in the beginning, 45 minutes ago. <laughs> I was like, I, what? Well, the great thing about a live stream is that it's, it's always an adventure. Anything can happen. I'm surprised nobody found me. I don't have any you found me cards. Um, I was supposed to, I, I was hoping to make more time with um, Scotty to do a live stream with him, but we, we had the backup footage that we took yesterday. So by the time we were done with that, there just wasn't any time. I wanted to get his impressions uh, about his, this time in Japan and maybe some comparisons between um, some of the other countries that we've been to in Asia. Because he has, he's got a lot of knowledge because he's lived in China. Uh, if you've ever watched his channel called Strange Parts, I highly recommend you do that. He made his own iPhone like five, six years ago. Six years ago, like nobody had ever seen anybody get random parts and put together their own phone, right? So he was able to make his own iPhone from used parts and stuff, and he was able to to bring back the headphone jack by by getting a like a like a drill and he drilled a hole in it and he found the parts to put in a headphone jack in the iPhone, which is pretty sweet. So he's an amazingly creative and crafty uh, engineer who, who does some amazing stuff on YouTube. And we both had a pretty rough few years, so uh, it, was, it was really encouraging to, to hang out with him. And uh, we always have positive vibes. Wow, the line for the taxi is super long. Um, situation, yeah, you know, from May 8th, the, you know, this is downgraded to the same as influenza, so it's no longer an issue, but the Japanese news media is already talking about a ninth wave for the summer, so of course they're, they're, um, inflating, inflating it to get people a little bit worried, so this becomes an issue again, maybe, I don't know, but, most people are starting, I'm seeing more and more people starting to shed the mask. Uh, the numbers are very low, but this is an extremely polite country where people will wear it and it's, up, it's now totally up to you. I haven't had anybody ask me to put it on, so it's totally up to you. And you can see it's, it's about 60-40. I'm the 40. I'm always the minority. <laughs> I'm, here, I'm always the minority. From May 8th, I don't believe you need any more apps or anything like that. You can just enter. I I'm, I'm, I'm believe that. Unless you're feeling sick or you're, you have a fever upon entry and they will screen you. They screen everybody who walks in. Unless you have a fever upon entry, I don't think that you will have any issues with anything, but you might want to check with the airline and the consulate uh, before you take the word of any YouTuber. Just, I, I, I don't say that lightly because you, you have to do your homework. This is, part, this is part one of your homework. What happened with John's battle with Apple? Um, after a year, American Express, because I used my gold card, finally said okay. Now American Express, you Japan is different. They have a different policy. They said they would give me back 8% um, of the, the cost. Like, this is going to be crazy. Someone's got to pay for this. It was, I never really received the iPhone. I, when I say really, I never received it, period. Um, I think that the post office never delivered it and the postman took it and he just put a form in my box because there's no proof that he left anything physical behind. Um, 
Apple should have required a signature or confirmation, but they didn't be for co coronavirus prevention or something like that, some ridiculous excuse. They're supposed to put it in my hand and get a signature. Um, they changed the policies and didn't let anybody know that they changed their user end policies too, so there's a lot of issues with that. Apple would refuse to take responsibility. In fact, blacklisted me from getting it replaced because I, I called with the USA Apple, who had put in a request to send me a new one, and Apple Japan blocked it. Act like, what the heck, man? Actively blocked it. In the end, American Express paid. So it just took a year and change, and police reports, five trips to the police station. And the police couldn't do anything anyways. They, they did help, they made calls. You know, that's a funny story. They even called Apple. And Apple said that we work with the law enforcement and will help with any requests to try to recover stolen phones. The policeman told us that they're the worst company to work with because they are very, very bad. They wanted everything submitted by, by letter, stamp, letter. They wanted the requests sent by letter from the police station. So Apple working with law enforcement is the biggest, we've tried that route. They suck with law enforcement. Let's not go. With, let's go. Down, let's not go down that rapid that rabbit hole. <laughs> law enforcement says that they stink. So, <laughs> Apple, if you're watching, Tokyo Police Department is not happy. You should help them recover uh, stolen um, property from the citizens. Um, it's, they get a bad apple. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. All right, thanks, guys. You know what? I, I'm going to say goodbye here because it's time for me to leave. It's just more fun when I'm hanging out. All right, there you go. This live view from Tokyo's uh, Yaisu Central Entrance. Thanks, guys, for watching. I, I appreciate all the questions and the feedback. I really hope that this helps you. Uh, make a smooth transition from Tokyo to the airport and vice versa. The last thing you want to do in the day when you travel on a long flight is to have any kind of stress. I believe very strongly that the bus produces the least amount of stress. Only in the time you better check Google Maps just to double check on the traffic patterns to make sure that there's, there's no red traffic jams uh, before you get on the bus. Um, but other than that, I'd say 95% of the time I've not had traffic and I've ridden the bus back and forth about 40 times between Narita and, and Tokyo Station. So uh, I hope this was useful. Click the like button if it was, and uh, I'll see you in another live stream tomorrow. I'll, I'll try to get PBG on with us. It's been a long time. <laughs>